Hi guys, it's Brendan from Minimania. Today we're going to go over some of the race uh, items that we can install in um, race motors that we build here at Minimania. And for those of you who don't know, you know, we can, we can rebuild you basically anything and build you basically anything. Um, and this is uh, an engine that we're putting together that has some really high-end components. And since we hadn't done a video on the high-end stuff before, I wanted to kind of just go through some of the things that we can build for you. This is a, an engine that's going to have um, a high-end crank. And uh, this type of crank is um, a lot different from the stock crank, as you can see. This is a stock crank right here. Uh, this particular one is from um, a later Mini, and it's got, um, it has these uh, uh, one and three quarter inch um, rod journals here. This one's more like the Cooper S style. It has the one and five eighths rod journals on it. But if you'll notice, this is the, a special balanced crank, and it has these um, sort of faux uh, journals in it, which, is, which differs from the style that you have uh, with the stock crank. And it puts a lot of that rotating mass right down there, right down the center of the crank. And it's designed to take lightened um, and uh, special straight rods. So the type of rods that are going to go in this. And um, you can see the way that that is oriented. So that's pretty cool. Um, the rods compared to the stock rod, they're a, lot, uh, they're a lot lighter to begin with. These are about 12 and a half ounces lighter than the stock rods. And for anybody who's ever actually built one of these knows that you know, the rods are offset, as you can see right there. Um, these particular rods are not offset. These are straight. They're all straight. And um, so they're also going on to a lighter piston. These pistons, um, they're about four inches lighter than what would be sort of a stock replacement piston. This is a high compression neural piston. This is the AE equivalent that you can get now. Very nice pistons. Um, uh, but these particular ones, uh, they're shorter and they're lighter. You can see about the difference in size. The pin height is also slightly different because the length of these particular rods is different. Um, so we're going to be taking all of uh, these higher end components. We're going to be putting them in a block that's been prepared, a 1275 block that's been prepared. We're going to be using ACL race bearings and uh, it's going to go in a, a block that's been set up for this um, for this crank and rotating assembly. Uh, it's also going to get a lightened uh, flywheel and it's going to get some other goodies and we'll come back um, after the crank is in and we'll talk a little bit more about some of these other higher end components that we're going to be putting in this uh, higher spec race engine. Okay well as you can see we've uh, we've installed the multi-web MED crankshaft here in the block. Um, you know, these multi-web uh, cranks are really extraordinary. Um, you know, they, they utilize a, 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 you know, a straight conrod. Um, and by using the straight conrod, it's a six-inch conrod, it's sort of an I-beam style. This comes as a kit from MED Engineering in the UK. You can see the MED on the side here. Um, and by using the straight conrod on this um, incredibly well-balanced crankshaft, uh, because it takes and has this weight, again, that I mentioned is all the way down the center line of the crank, um, it really reduces any sort of side loading that you might get um, on a traditional crank and a traditional offset uh, connecting rod in an A-series engine, and this eliminates all that. So it makes an incredibly um, well-balanced um, rotating assembly. Uh, this block, as you can see, has got the MED aftermarket um, main bearing caps. It's got a four main center 
bearing cap. Um, and uh, so that should provide some extra rigidity for this very nice setup here. And again, Tony has installed uh, the rings on these um, forged pistons, which come with the kit. The kit is the crank and the rods and the pistons, and it also gives you the bearings. Um, so if that's something you want to look into, if you want to build an, a very serious, um, very, very hot or uh, hot road or, or race engine, um, then this is pretty much uh, the pinnacle <laughs> of where you would be for the, uh, the crank, rod, and piston technology at this point. Um, after this, um, we'll get a little bit of footage of Tony installing the pistons, and you can take a look and see the way that those straight rods and everything uh, work out. And um, we'll do that in a little while. You know, one of the interesting things, um, this crank is actually, it's actually slightly heavier than a, than a factory crank. Um, it, it is not necessarily any lighter. Uh, it's just that the weight that it does have um, is actually balanced down the center axis of the, uh, of the crank. Um, however, um, doing this as a kit, one of the nice things is, is because um, you know, you're going to be fitting uh, these pretty slick straight rods um, and these pistons. Um, uh, these are actually uh, lighter um, by a good three and a half pounds over the factory rods and pistons. Um, you, know, um, you know, that alone, uh, taking three and a half pounds off of your, your rotating mass, um, it's definitely going to allow you to accelerate more quickly. And uh, this engine is also, um, it's also going to have a light and flywheel, and we'll see that at some point during the build. Um, so, uh, you know, that's, that's one more uh, bit of lightning that we're going to add to this engine, um, you know, so that it'll be able to rev up uh, very quickly. These pistons are actually marked with an F for the front of the engine, so you face them all the same direction. We already have number one in. We'll just give you a quick show on how we do that. Uh, this particular set, by the way, you can order it in different oversizes. This is a 1330 set, so these are 60 over pistons. Just so you know. You'll have to uh, really finesse the stock for the keyway once you get that on the end of the crank and you also might have to take some emery and stuff to get the uh, to get that snout ready for the gear 
It takes a little bit of fettling, but you'll be able to do it. Okay, well, we discovered something when we were putting together the uh, timing setup. And um, as you can see that this, this particular set, um, it's one of the slippable vernier style um, timing chain setups. Um, when, we, when we got it on here, um, we noticed that there was quite a bit of slack actually in the chain. So what we're actually going to do, we'll just end up putting a tensioner on this. And we'll take up that little bit of slack that we've got, which is no big deal. The, the tensioners aren't really designed for the duplex uh, chain setup, but you can use them, certainly. There's no issue to using a, a tensioner on a, on a duplex chain. So that'll just uh, take up that little bit of slack, and then we should be good to go. So once this gets uh, dialed in timing-wise, um, we'll move on from there. This is a cast iron uh, 12G940 um, uh, head that uh, MED prepared and uh, it's a very nice head. It's also got a very nice set of the um, 1.5 lift uh, roller rockers, as you can see. So it's a pretty slick setup. This particular one was also ported. You can see the porting. So this is gonna be a really nice flowing head. And that's what's actually gonna go on that engine over there. So you'll see that a little later on too. Um, when we get this up on the test stand and uh, we can uh, start to run it. Okay, so we have the tensioner on there now and uh, we have the cam timed. This particular cam is a Piper cam and it um, total lift on it is 105 degrees. So that's what we've uh, got it set at. And um, ready to continue building. Okay, well the head is on, front cover's on, uh, the damper pulley is on. You'll notice that it's got a, it's got the belt on actually already. We noticed that it's a little tight here in between the front breather and, uh, and the damper. So we just put that on ahead of time, just slid that into place and then put the damper on. The water pump installed. Over on this side, you see that we've got one of our mini mania breathers um, connected where you would normally have your um, mechanical um, fuel pump, and so we just add that as a breather. Engine like this needs to have uh, good positive crankcase ventilation, so we're going to do that with this kind of an engine. That would be a matter of course. You can see that this head that came from MED Prepped was nicely... Um, it has... Uh, been nicely ported and polished and um, it's got this large MED rocker cover on it. It's going to be a good looking motor as well as a nicely running and very fast engine. So um, the next step we're going to do is we're going to build um, a straight cut rod change box and it's also going to have a complete straight cut a drop gear set. So when we're a little bit further along in that, we'll show you that too. Another thing that this gearbox is getting uh, is going to be limited slip diff. It's going to be quite the setup. So we're going to start to put that together and you'll see it in a little while. One thing that we needed to do, we made a couple marks inside the gearbox. Uh, it turns out that um, the gearbox actually had to be clearanced a little bit for this, um, for this crank. Uh, the studs for the one main bearing cap on the end right here and here, clearance that a little bit. But then we had to remove a little bit of material here, um, basically because this counterweight right here on the crank was coming up and it was hitting there. And then of course on the opposite stroke, it was banging it in the other direction. So we actually had to clear it, clearance it so it would clear this, uh, this counterweight there right there. So we had to do that. So that was a little bit of extra work. Um, but now it's done and it clears it just fine. Okay, well, we have the flywheel cover on. And this is the light and flywheel that's going to be going on here with the clutch package already attached to it. 
So pretty much all we got to do is just uh, get the flywheel bolt on there, tighten her up, and um, this engine's going to be ready to go on the test stand probably tomorrow. Well, as you can see, we have our engine on the test stand, and this particular one's going out with a uh, an Alden distributor, no vac, and it also has a pair of HS4 one and a half inch SU carburetors, and. Um, those were rebuilt here at our shop by Ed Dorada. And so we're going to run this. It's run for a little while, and I'll just get a little bit of video of this running for you. And you can see how it's going. Okay, well, we ran the engine on the stand and um, we ended up actually putting some higher octane uh, fuel and ran this on some higher octane fuel because it turns out that this one has higher compression than we initially, initially thought and it ran much better on the uh, higher octane fuel. So this one's pretty much ready to be boxed up, crated up and shipped out. Um, if you're looking for a higher end mini engine or one for your Sprite or Midget, an inline engine, just let us know. You know, let us know what you're talking about. Let us know what kind of uh, horsepower you might be looking at. You know, if you're going to be doing track days or if you just want a hotter street engine, if you really just want to build something that uh, is unlike what most people put in their cars, let us know. We can build it for you. And um, you can uh, get in contact with us. The contact information is right up there in the information on this video and um, you can leave a, a comment let us know like the video and subscribe to our site um, if you uh, have an idea for a video that you'd like us to do leave it in the comments we do read them and uh, we'll see you next time